Hello and welcome back to Will's World Reviews and More and today we'll be reviewing the 2015 Money in the Bank pay-per-view from WWE. Uh, this video might be a bit shorter than normal just because I'm in a bit of a rush, got a busy day but uh, anyway we'll get into it. So all in all quite a good pay-per-view, I was very impressed with the main event as we'll get into uh, and some of the other matches as well. So let's just start off quickly with the kickoff show between R-Truth and Bad News Barrett. They're kind of building this gimmick where R-Truth thinks he's going to be the king if he beats Barrett. Um, not sure whether they'll continue that feud or whether it's a one-off. R-Truth picked up the win here. Uh, has Bad News Barrett really become a jobber? Because it seems like that. And it's disappointing for someone who had so much promise. Um, of course, we had lots of Dusty Road tributes on this uh, pay-per-view. And um, yeah, thoughts with his family, obviously. Um, surprisingly, we opened up with the Money in the Bank match on the main pay-per-view. Um, I thought this might be the second main event, but instead it was the first match, and that got me thinking that there may have been a cash-in uh, planned, so to give a bit of distance between the Money in the Bank and the main event. But alas, obviously there wasn't. Um, and I thought at this point that Roman Reigns was nailed on um, to win, basically, even though he got booed pretty much throughout the match, which I don't think is very fair anymore. I could understand people viewing him before, but now I don't see why. Um, early on, there was lots of shameless domination. Then you had um, Randy Orton with his RKO's. Uh, Big E and Kofi came down to try and help. Um, no, Big E and Xavier came down to try and help Kofi. Didn't really work. Rowan Reigns <coughs> almost on top to get the little briefcase. And who turns up? Bray Wyatt. Who was rumoured after all because uh, some people had seen him uh, at the on the list of the superstars appearing. So um, he basically cost Reigns the money in the bank briefcase. Uh, Sheamus climbs the ladder, Neville almost stops him, and um, doesn't work. Sheamus wins money in the bank. Um, I think he was one of the people that I did pick as a, as a bit of an outside chance, and it really does explain the reason why we didn't put the Intercontinental Championship on him. At um, Elimination Chamber, so let's just see what happens with Sheamus's um, part, you know, as, as, as money in Mr. Money in the Bank. I did have a feeling that I thought he might join the authority. Uh, we'll see if that happens, maybe to replace Seth Rollins with Sheamus, you know, Triple H and him being real life friends. Um, who knows? It'll be interesting to see what happens with Sheamus as Mr. Money in the Bank. Uh, then you got onto the Divas match, which was longer than usual and was actually. Pretty decent, I have to say. Um, the ending was expected, as usual. Nikki retains, but this time it happened. Uh, Twin Magic failed. Um, Brie got caught out, and then with the distraction, basically, um, uh, Nikki capitalised, and you know, pay, uh, Paige was left wondering what does she need to do, and, and I get a lot of people are asking. You know, basically, is it inevitable that Nikki's going to take over this longest title reign, and then we'll have to wait to see if the Divas Division will move forward, uh, which it really needs to do, I suppose. Moving forward slowly, longer match, decent, but needs more. Um, next, you've got Big Show versus Ryback, which was a bit of a pointless match uh, for the Intercontinental Title. Miz opens up in commentary, and then uh, <coughs> Ryback takes him out, and then. There's a bit of fight between Big Show and um, Ryback, uh, but then Miz interferes. Uh, DQ, Big Show win, but Ryback retains. Uh, not much to say about this. They're just going to obviously com um, continue this feud between the three of them. And it explains why Ryback shell shocked Big Show on Raw or SmackDown last week because it was clear it was never going to happen here because it was just a bit of a shambles. Um, Kevin Owens versus John Cena. Um, Cena was booed, Owens was cheered. Bit of an indication there. Owens mocks Cena, uh, then kicks out the AA. Cena kicks out the power bomb, and yep, Cena wins. We all knew this coming clean. Um, but then obviously Cena offers his hand, uh, Owens attacks, and Cena looks to have been injured. Blah 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 blah. We all knew that was coming. I don't think. I think everyone thought that Owens should get the second victory, but we all knew it was never going to happen. So now they're probably going to go in for a rubber match, or even a dead rubber match. It might make it four. That's what we did with Rusev, and then, yeah, so, let's have a look. Then we had an awesome Dean Ambrose promo, one of the best promos I've seen in WWE since I returned to it. Um, you have to check that out if you can. Awesome, awesome promo. 
Um, this guy really can talk. Then you had uh, New Day versus Primetime Players, and I don't think anyone expected the Primetime Players to win, apart from me. I think, you know, I wanted it, obviously. I don't know whether I still believed it. So, uh, great choice, and I think it was... Ultimately, it came down to the resurgence in popularity, maybe like Batista calling out the WWE and not using Titus O'Neil. Um, I think Darren Young obviously spotlighting his sexuality in, in the workplace. And then, of course, you've got um, Tyson Kidd who picked an injury up this week, so they were probably considered the main contenders, Kidd and Cesaro, for the titles. And obviously, if they're out of the picture, who have you got left? Really, that's a credible threat. Half and run, probably, but they've only just got back together, so you can't really put the titles on them yet. So, in the end, it was probably the right decision, and I'm happy for the primetime players. I hope they have a, a decent run with the titles, because I quite like them. Um, I'll see what happens with that, though. Hope oh, no, that's I mean. I mean, I think New Day primetime players and half and run about the three best tag teams left now. So, uh, maybe we could have like some kind of decent matches between the three of them. That would be quite interesting. Um, and then the main event, <coughs> which I thought was absolutely awesome... Apart from the, sh the ending, which was a bit shitty, to be honest. Um, I think, you know, the bit where Dean Ambrose puts Seth Rollins through the ladder and it buckles was just amazing. And then Seth Rollins throwing Dean Ambrose to the barricades was just awesome too. Um, but I think the ending could have been better. I think everyone was expecting something a bit more than just them both clinging onto the tile, falling down, and Seth Rollins comes away with it. And he retains because of that. I, you know, I think... Ultimately, it's the only way they wanted to kind of go with it in, in order to continue the feud as it is. I think a lot of people thought maybe Roman Reigns would come down to heal, <coughs> especially if he won money in the bank, but he didn't. He's now entered into a feud with um, Bray Wyatt, and they've announced that for Battleground already. So he's tied up with that now. So it really didn't... When I when I heard about that, it really made sense on to what they were going to do with this, and I thought they were either going to go two ways and either turn Ambrose heel and have him fight a face Rollins, or they were going to have Sheamus uh, cash in on the winner and join the authority and then set up her matches there. But it looks like they're just going to continue the feud with Ambrose and Rollins until uh, Brock Lesnar comes back. And then I'm not sure what they're going to do with Ambrose after that, uh, whether they put a title on him eventually and he goes on to fight someone else and Rollins faces um, Brock Lesnar as a, in a grudge match or whether they just keep the title on Rollins and... Make that the match with SummerSlam, I'm not sure, um, but it looks like we'll try and wait, out, wait till Raw to find out what's going off, um, which should be interesting. Anyway, that's about it guys, uh, thanks for watching, um, keep liking, commenting and subscribing, and I'll be back soon with another video. Ta!